What's poppin' homies? You already know who it is. It's your favorite homegirl, gossip girl. And let's talk, okay? Parents, if you're listening in, this is a good time for me to get your input on this situation right here. So, I'm a mom, okay? And I know there's a lot of moms that listen to my channel or, you know, there's moms out there, period. Now, some of you may agree and some of you may not agree, but please be respectful in my comment section, okay? Now, we all know Erica Dixon, Scrappy's ex-girlfriend, ex-wife. Um, she revealed that she wasn't going to vaccinate her twin girls. And she has been receiving death threats over that. Now, I'm going to say this. Like I said, we could agree or disagree with people, but the death threats has to stop. She has a reason why she's not going to vaccinate her girls. When I was growing up, my parents vaccinated me, and I'm fine. And that's how and that's how it was. You could not go to school or or get, come around other children if you were not vaccinated. Okay. Now, Erica Dixon shared a post on social media saying, "My twin, my twins are eight months old and have never been sick." And never been vaccinated. Now this caused an uproar on Twitter and on social media as well. Because you know people don't agree with her. Alright. She also said to, to each his own. But mine won't be getting vaccinated. She also added that the twins father is vegan. He's definitely against the twins getting vaccinated. She also goes on to say. She went vegan prior to her pregnancy and throughout as well. She also says she she did her research and that her girls will be able to attend daycare and other schools like the other children, but she would need to first sign a waiver. And that people need to learn how to agree and disagree without all the death threats and to be adult about it. Now, what do you think about that? Listen, I know that growing up, okay, we had to get a physical and we had to get vaccinated, okay? So, with that being said, in this day, moving forward, excuse me, in this day and age, people are now having a choice whether to vaccinate or not to vaccinate. Now, in certain communities, you know, when I was, you know, growing up in New York City, growing up in Brooklyn, in certain communities, like the Jewish community, they, they did not vaccinate. They didn't vaccinate. Um, but we wasn't, a lot of us didn't go to school with them. or We wasn't around them because, like I said, they had their own communities. Now, where I grew up, you know, you wasn't allowed in the school if you wasn't vaccinated. You had to have your, your shots. If your shots wasn't up to date and you was in school, they would give you a note and they would tell your parents that you could not come back to school until you were vaccinated. Until your shots were up to par. Up, you know, updated. So, but now moving forward in this day and age, you have the choice whether to vaccinate or vaccinate your children, or you know, or not to vaccinate your children. Now, I've also read where there are people who are getting together and forming their own community of kids who are not vaccinated to stick together, you know, to stay in one area and not be a part of the kids that are vaccinated. It's a whole big thing with this. So I just want to know, guys, how do you feel about this? vaccinate or not to vaccinate situation erica dixon in her case that's her children her her and the father agree not to have their children vaccinated that's them you know there are people like them also who just don't agree with the whole vaccination thing but i do uh, i do feel that getting vaccinations help you from getting other people sick and you catching things. So, like I say, it's a it's a it's a big thing with this. Um people feel differently. 
you know, some people feel like they injecting your body with poison. They killing you with this vaccination stuff. Um, hey, I've been vaccinated again. Thank God I'm still here. There's a lot of stuff that I grew up that our parents should not have done. And I'm still here. For example, giving Vicks and sugar because you got a call. Giving a, making you take down a teaspoon of Vicks with some sugar. Now, you know you're not supposed to be eating no Vicks, but I'm still here. My husband is still here. Cause we talk about it all the time. That stuff that we did as as kids, what our parents did to us as kids, we're still here that we would never do. Okay? <laughs> so I'm just saying. Now, and that's a whole different topic. I might make that a discussion one day. But, um... Yeah, so how do you feel about this vaccination? To vaccinate or not to vaccinate? Or your children, did they get vaccinated? Or you didn't vaccinate your children? Let me know in the comment section. And please, like I said, we can talk about it, but be respectful, okay? I don't mind you debating, but please be respectful. All right, you guys have a great morning.